I'm Dan McNulty. Welcome to another segment of Schumberg Heartbeat. Uh, today, the uh, subject is going to be uh, the economy, in particular the economy of the village of Schumberg. And uh, with us this morning is a man who's pretty responsible for a lot of that. It's Matt Frank, and Matt is the uh, Assistant Director of Community Development and the Economic Development Manager for the village. And that's a pretty big title, Mac. Uh, you want to give us a little idea of what your responsibilities are? Sure. As Economic Development Manager, uh, my job is to market and recruit businesses to Schaumburg, as well as help uh, existing businesses grow and prosper here in the community. So I uh, get to deal with a wide variety of businesses, everything from a manufacturer to a retailer to a hotelier to a uh, large business like Motorola and Zurich. Okay. Now, you've been uh, in your position now, would you tell me, 17 years? Uh, yeah, that's okay. correct. I started in 1999, so I've seen uh, a little bit of transformation in the community. Right. Uh, I think the last time we talked, it was just a few years ago, and uh, you know, talking about the recession. Uh, give us an idea of uh, how things have changed here in uh, the village during that period. Sure. Yeah, I, the village, like many other communities, have gone through a rough patch with uh, some foreclosures, businesses closing, and uh, you know, uh, increase in uh, vacancy throughout the community. But uh, in the past three years, we've seen it bounce back. Uh, the housing market is slowly increasing. Uh, you see in the business community uh, come forward, new development, new proposals being brought forth. Uh, you've seen uh, investors buy up properties and uh, make improvements. So it's, it's been a great turnaround here, and we're looking forward to a bright future. Okay, now mention uh, <coughs> some of those uh, businesses that mm -hmm. <coughs> were not a business. So um, tell us about the replacements that you've gotten uh, for the, uh, uh, the grocery stores. Yeah, so, you know, we, Chicago was hit hard with Dominic's uh, right. leaving the market. Um, you know, we've been out marketing to many other grocers and big box retailers. So we're fortunate that Art Van Furniture is taking over for the uh, Dominic's at Higgins and Meacham. Um, so they'll be uh, putting in uh, a significant amount of investment to upgrade that facility for their furniture store, and they op plan to open uh, mid-2016. And then as far as the uh, town square at Schaumburg and Roselle Road, uh, Tony's Finer Foods uh, bought that center as well as the Dominic's. Um, so they are in discussions with uh, Safeway, uh, who owns the, uh, the lease there, uh, to uh, work out a deal to hopefully uh, get their grocer up and running soon. So. We're, we're excited about uh, the new tenants coming to the market, and hopefully they'll serve our residents well. Okay. Uh, what about a uh, few other locations? Uh, you know, Applebee's, the one on uh, Roseau Road, and any others? Sure. So, yeah, Applebee's had been you know, vacant for quite some time. Uh, we're fortunate that Ray Walker is going to bring Walker Brothers uh, to the market. So I think that'll be a nice destination in Town Square. So another breakfast user. We've had a lot of restaurants come into the market recently. Uh, Egg Harbor Cafe uh, recently opened up, Shop House on Meacham Road. So if you go down Meacham Road, it's becoming uh, much more of a restaurant row uh, with a wide variety of uh, cuisines and opportunities for not only the daytime population, but our residents as well. Okay. Uh, now, one of the big projects that uh, mm -hmm. been in papers uh, that uh, is in development is uh, uh, Motorola, the property of Motorola. Uh, what exactly are you hoping to do there and uh, when we want to get going? Sure. Yeah, so this is part of our uh, TIF district there up on uh, North Schaumburg, north of 90. Uh, the Motorola campus plays a huge role. Um, you know, you've got over 200 acres there that are uh, prime for redevelopment. So the village has been working with Motorola Solutions to discuss their investment as they're going to be keeping 1,600 jobs in the community. Uh, but they have extra land that they don't need. So we've been working uh, with a consultant to put together a land plan that lays out uh, kind of the vision of what the village board and the village wants to see there. So We'd be looking for more of a uh, corporate um, office environment with a mix of residential, hotels, uh, restaurants that would play well with our convention center and the, the neighborhood around there. So much more dense, walkable environments. Um, we're hoping to create an entertainment center um, similar to Rosemont has, but uh, a little unique in the aspect that we want to enhance our open space over there and allow for trails and um, community involvement and programming and networking over there. So. Uh, quite a big task. It'll take uh, many, many years to accomplish that. But, um, you know, this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity with tollway visibility and location that uh, we think is worth the investment. Okay. Now, you talk about the tollway. Uh, mm -hmm. In the past, there uh, was talk about uh, bringing the CTA out here. Uh, that's been scaled back, I understand. But what exactly as far as uh, 
you know, getting people down into Chicago uh, using a tollway. Sure. Yeah, with the new ramps, you know, that will obviously help the commuter at Meacham and Roselle. Um, but uh, we are working with PACE in the tollway to offer bus rapid transit. So the PACE buses would ride along the shoulders with stops along the way, and they'd interact with our Northwest Transit Center, which is the bus hub right next to Streets of Woodfield that uh, many routes filter in and out from Elgin all the way to Rosemont in Chicago. So uh, you know, transit is a huge importance, uh, f not only for our residents, but for employees who work here especially as we try and attract some of that millennial generation and those uh, workers who live in the city to uh, come out here and work in our uh, businesses. Um, so we, we want to you know, be partners with Pace and the Tollway to make sure there's opportunities for everybody to get in and out of Schaumburg as easy as possible. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the uh, residence, mm -hmm. uh, residence uh, Center. Uh, how is that going, the hotel and the convention center? Yeah, they actually had their uh, second best year uh, this past year in 2015 as far as uh, shows and events uh, since they opened in 2006. Uh, so we're very pleased with what the Renaissance and Lisa Timbo and her staff are doing over there. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a great facility. Um, we are going to be putting in some upgrades to uh, enhance the looks and feels. You know, a hotel goes through a lot of wear and tear. So after 10 years, we need to upgrade the carpets and rooms and those type of things. So the village is working with them on that. But as far as uh, programming and events, uh, they continue to sell really well. And it's a wide range of corporate meetings to the consumer shows, uh, like the Meekum uh, car show. And then they do a lot of uh, tournaments and events, you know, whether it's uh, weddings or uh, volleyball uh, tournaments or dance exchange and uh, programs. So we're really pleased with it. And it's, it's been a boon to the, the community and the uh, economy in Schaumburg. Okay. Let's add a couple <coughs> other things, uh, amenities you have here in uh, in Schaumburg, the airport and the, the baseball team, uh, how have they, uh, how has the village benefited from both of them? Sure. Yeah, those are two unique um, uh, venues that uh, not many communities have. So it's a, it's a draw for us as we go out and recruit businesses that we can promote and say, you know, if you need airport or private jet or anything like that, we have a facility in town that uh, caters to that. And then the Schaumburg Boomers, uh, obviously, uh, you know, great community uh, family events, affordable, you know, ticket prices, 10 bucks a ticket or less. Um, so we get a lot of families and campers that come out to the community. Uh, they've done well recently, so that helps when you win a couple of championships and you build that um, um, image and uh, legend. Uh, so as they go out and play ball throughout the Midwest, you know, you hear the name Schaumburg Boomers and it refers to, you know, our community. And so it helps us with branding and marketing as well. Okay. Um, coming to, you know, here in uh, 2016, uh, uh, what do you consider your biggest challenges? Well, I think you know, the challenge is uh, Zurich. You know, when they relocate into their new headquarters on the Motorola campus in uh, September, you know, we've got those two uh, iconic towers next to Woodfield Mall that uh, will have large vacant spaces. So we've been working with the office broker there and trying to reach out to businesses to identify you know, a couple of potential uh, tenants to backfill that space. So, you know, that, that's a, a key uh, component as we're looking at, you know, well over 600,000 square feet of space that need to be filled. So the office market, you know, trying to improve that and make sure that uh, corporate uh, businesses want to set up here in town and do well. So I think that's uh, probably the number one challenge for us. Um, you know, the other challenge is uh, trying to make sure that uh, the Motorola campus takes off and that we get investment, which we've had uh, discussions with developers already who are interested. So I think it's just guiding that development and making sure it fits in with the vision of uh, Mayor Larson and the Village Board. Yeah. Okay, and uh, last but not least, uh, Woodfield. Uh, yeah. How is that uh, going as far as the village is concerned and, uh, and for the future of that? Yeah, the mall, you know, opened in 71 and it had been a Taubman Mall for quite some time. Uh, it was recently sold to Simon. Uh, so we've had a great relationship with David Gott and the folks over at Simon. Uh, they've invested some money into upgrading the facilities. You know, drive around, you see the signage, and they've done a lot of interior work with a new center court and uh, um, new tiles and carpeting and so forth. Um, and they've upgraded the tenant mix there. So they've got uh, some uh, you know, fabulous new tenants like Zara and Timberland. And uh, most recently, Garrett's Popcorn opened up in center court, which has been a huge draw. So we, we've been uh, very happy with uh, the, the mall and Simon's achievements there. So we'll continue to work with them on bringing new tenants. Um, so we're excited about Uncle Julio's opening up next year. And we're talking with them, a few other uh, potential retailers that will make some sense there and help uh, raise the, uh, the limits of uh, Woodfield Mall. So it's been great. 
Okay, Matt, you've been great uh, giving us an uh, update on uh, what's going to be uh, going on, what's been going on, going on in, in uh, 2016. And uh, I think uh, for uh, most of us who live in Shambay, we're very, very fortunate. It's a great village to live in. And uh, Matt, again, thank you. Appreciate and, that. This has been another segment of Shambay Heartbeat. I'm Dan McDulty. Thanks for watching. Jenny and I take time for fun by bringing my twin grandchildren to time for tots at the Schaumburg Sports Center. WSPD, your place to take time for fun. Welcome to another segment of Schaumburg Heartbeat. My name is Burke McDonald, and I'm over at the Senior Center at the Community Recreation Center today. Boy, that's a lot of word center in there. Um, with Lisa Perone, she's the director over here. And Lisa, I heard they've given you a, a, a whole bunch of new rooms. Is that right? They have. We have been renovated, and they're beautiful. They're beautiful, and are the people liking it? They love them. They love them, and every day it's something different in each of the rooms, which is great. Well, that's what I hear. I mean, I came in earlier in the morning to get ready, and it was empty, but I came back to do the piece, and there was a beautiful uh, rainbow, by the way, this morning, right over this place. Perfect. So you got the pot of gold. <laughs> but anyway, you got a lot of activities going on today, so why don't we sort of show them the place and talk about some of the activities? Does that sound right? Sounds good. Okay. Right. I hear this is Vi, right? And, and you have trips all the time, right? We do. We actually had 80 trips last year. 80 trips. And where are you going today? Uh, Lincoln Park Zoo and Chris Kindle Market and Burgos. And Burgos. Well, that sounds good. So, you, so you're going to get some good food. Yes. You're going to get to see the animals. And you're going to go get to buy some Christmas presents. Yes, especially the lights at the zoo. That's what I'm interested in. So how long? what time are you coming back today? 9 p.m. We're due in the lot. <laughs> Oh well, well you have a you're gonna have a good night's sleep tonight. Yes I am. <laughs> okay. We're in the big room now. This is quite a big room and you can organize it any way you want. Right now we're watching them play bags. What else do they do in this room? Um, well, we, we went from this being called the Senior Center to being the uh, Renaissance Room now. And, um, oh gosh, you know, well, we're kind of housed in here. Our offices are in here. They play bags in here um, every, almost every other day. Uh, the ladies that exercise come in here and they kind of coffee clutch afterwards. Uh, we do all of our luncheons in here. So okay. whenever we have specialty luncheons, they're always in here. Okay. And bingo's in here too, right? And bingo every Wednesday. And mm -hmm. that's that's a pretty. You have the you fill the room, right? We do. Fill we the do. House. Yeah. Okay. And I, I now during the summer, during the better weather, you're out there and you're playing bocce ball. But have you do you do that inside at all in the winter? Because I thought you had gotten a new set. No, we um we actually right behind us where they're playing bags. This is what they do instead of playing bocce in the winter time. Okay. So this is the alternate for the winter. Okay, well let's let's see if we can get a, a bocce player, a bags player, and see what they have to say. I think that sounds okay. Good. Come, come on over. Okay, I see we. We're gonna get hit. <laughs> I see we, we we got a superhero, right? We do. I okay. wish I. <laughs> and and this is Tom. This Tom. is Tom. Tom comes and plays yeah. bags, and he was also um, a, uh, in our silver games this oh. last year as well. And yeah, he plays bocce. Love you play, bocce. You, you yeah. love the bocce. Yeah. Okay. Bags not so good. 
But it's still fun to oh, come yeah. over here, right? Uh, same friends. Yeah, same, 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 friends. same group. Yeah. Okay. You come over here how many times a week do you end up coming Three over? Three times a Three week, times at a least, week? yeah. Three times. Yeah. And then do you do any of the other uh, activities that they do with the group? We shoot pool after some time, and uh, when the weather is better, permitting, we I love the bocce. Yeah. You love the bocce. Are, yeah. are you the... Uh, Shoe in out there, you're the one that they, they, they go to when there's problems. I pick up the sticks, you know, <laughs> I pick up the twigs. Yeah. You know what, <laughs> Clean he's, up the court. he's he's fibbing to you. Um, and you know what, you know what is a really great thing is they have a great bond, this group, and so they do stuff outside of the park district as well. They've, they've all become really good friends, yeah. which is really awesome. Yeah, I'm here for the friends. I got the friends. You got the friends. How many years have you been coming over here now? Uh, this is, uh, starting this, it's, it's been only the first year for Your me. Your first year, yeah, but I'm you have a lot of fun. Recently you, retired, yeah. And, and you met new friends. What did you do when you yeah. used to work? When I worked, I traveled a lot in service machinery and uh, rebuilt machines, yeah. So now now she knows the secret if there's a problem over here. <laughs> <laughs> I know who I'm going to call, Tom. Ah. Thank you very much. Now, now we're at the, the Community Recreation Center, and there's a whole exercise area in there, right? There I mean, is. There's a pool. They oh, have yeah. A fitness equipment. They have a track. They have a where you can walk or run. Or all brand newly renovated. It's gorgeous. And that's, that's all been redone, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But some of your people go and, and participate in the club. In the Club 55 program, right, which is land or swimming, and then they come down here? Yep, they do. They, they, uh, they have, like, their group that they go to in the mornings, and then they come here and they chit-chat and have coffee and get a chance to spend some time with each other. Okay, we, and, now we, we, and, and this, this is one of them. This is Lynn. This is Lynn. Hi, yes. Lynn. How are you? I'm now, fine, thank you. Now, what do you do in the ex exercise side? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday are the days I usually come. We do aerobics, and then we do weightlifting, and sometimes we go down to the mat and exercise our abs, abdominals. Oh, you got a six-pack, huh? Yeah, not I. No, I, I'm working on it, but I don't have it. <laughs> but but I, I've got to watch out because your muscles will probably get to me. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it easy on you. Well, that's good. And then you come over here, and what do you do over in this side? Like Lisa just said, we chat, get to know each other a little bit better, and have a cup of coffee, which they... Senior Center provides. It's, it's, it's very fun, very nice. So we provide you with coffee. That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, it is a good deal, yes. Okay. And once in a while, somebody brings sweets, especially with Christmas. Well, I'm sure we'll be inundated with cookies and stuff. A lot of cookies, yeah. a lot of Kringles. Yeah, and yeah, things. right. Okay. Yeah, very tasty. So, yeah. so it's, you have a good, how long have you been coming over here? Oh, 12, 13 years. 12, 13 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you've got, have you gotten to know a lot of different people yes. through the? Oh, yes, yes. And not just the exercise. I go on trips too, as Lisa said. I, okay. What's have you, you have a trip that you remember? Uh, that I remember. Well, that that well, you that eating lunches out. But this coming Saturday, I'm going to the Chicago Symphony and l lunch at Lowry's downtown. Lunch at Lowry's. That's pretty fancy. And then to the symphony. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Well, that and sounds the, great. And the Von Trapps, the Descendants, are going to be performing on Saturday at the Chicago Symphony. Oh my! That so, sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it should be. So I'm Okay, so she we comes up with good trips. She comes up. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I heard that she came up with a good one this summer that she had to repeat it five times, right? <laughs> yes. The one, the <laughs> yeah. yes, yes. If if the demand is there, we we take them. Oh well, that sounds yeah. good. Well, so this is this is a big room. Uh, the this is basically the original senior it center, is. and now we're going to go to the other side and see what's going on on the other side. Yes, we are. Okay. Meineke Recreation Center, the place to be to get in shape. Meineke offers a new fitness room with modern equipment, open gym, an indoor running track, and a new dance room. Work off those extra pounds, get active, and stay fit at the Schaumburg Park District's renovated Meineke Recreation Center. Visit www.parkfun.com to learn about membership options. Okay, this is your new pride and joy, right? Yes, it is. It's our billiard room. And I heard that when you said you were going to get new tables, you had a little bit of a argument on your hands. Yep, they told me that the new tables weren't made as good as the old tables. So we had them recovered and recushioned and the whole nine yards. 
So, and, and we have a billiard player here, Bob, right? This is Bob. Yes. Hi, Bob. Hi, how are you doing? And uh, do you agree that you like the old tables better than the new? Yes, I do. Okay, why is that? Well, you like the, the old look. They run true. They've been refelted, so they play real well, and we're real happy with the room that we were able to get after the remodeling. Well, that's good. Now, I'm a novice. Uh, <laughs> even though they played pool when I was in high school, we had at our high school, we had a, a table down there. What's the difference between pool and billiards? Uh, billiards is a, a game played on a bigger table with no pockets, and you have to usually hit two, three cushions and two balls. A uh, pool uh, table has six pockets, and you just try to put the balls in the pockets. Okay, and, and how long, have you been coming to the senior center for a while? Uh, yeah, it's going on about a year and a half now for me. Okay, and what have you found by coming over here? What, what draws you besides coming to play the, the game? Well, I do like to shoot pool. Um, the guys are all nice, and I only live right across the street in Cutter's Mill, so it's nice and close. Nice. So do you walk over, ride over? I'll drive over. You drive over, okay. Mm -hmm. So how many days a week do you find, these, find yourself showing up over here? Well, sometimes it's five days a week. Usually we play Monday, Wednesday, Friday for sure with all the guys here in the morning. So it's a lot of fun, and we have a good time doing it. Okay. Five days a week, that, that says that you're doing, you're doing something right here if you get them in here that often. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. You know, a lot of it is, you know, they love playing. They love the competitiveness, but they also like the camaraderie. You know, people come here and they make friends, and then they meet them here all different times of the day. And, um, yeah, we've been get, this room's been getting a lot of play. Now, this is, it's pretty reasonable to come here. Obviously, if you go on a trip, you have to pay. But a lot of these other things, they just come and, and it's part of the park district, right? It is. It's just drop-in. Um, so the guys, they don't pay anything to play pool. Um, and uh, the one thing that is really fun that we do, and we just had one, is uh, we do a competition with the Dundee seniors. And um, they came here this time, and then next time we'll go by them. And uh, we always have lunch, and it's, uh, it's a friendly competition. But we did take the trophy this time, right, Bob? Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to have to get a picture of that trophy. Okay, you got it. Okay. And um, some people bring their lunch, right? And they, they stay for lunch? Yep, yep. Some people come in the morning, they leave, they do their errands or do whatever it is. They come back later in the day. Um, but the room is open pretty much to them almost whenever they want, so... Okay. Well, I see that we're interrupting a game back here. We're standing in their way. They so let, quiet, so let, <laughs> let, 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 <laughs> pardon me, what did you say? Standing in the way. Standing in the way. Well, we're good at that. that that's what we're good for. So, okay, we're going to go in and see some card playing. But, uh, the reason, reason being, uh, uh, Lisa is very friendly, and she's very excellent. But she doesn't have much of a sense of humor, does she? No, no, no. <laughs> that's what I know. What's your name? Uh, Bob. Bob Another Healer. Bob. Yeah. Two Bobs here. Yeah. And, and how long have you been coming? About 10 years. 10 years? Oh, yeah. So what did you do before you retired? Uh, I was an assistant vice president of a bank. Of a bank? Yeah. I, I was in charge of their state farm program for eight years. Oh, okay. And then the bank was sold, so I retired. I came here. And, and you came over here? Yeah. Oh, it sounds like fun. Okay, now we're over here. We're with the with the big game room, right? <laughs> yes. They, this they, is where, where the card playing pretty much happens all the time. And they really like to play cards because you have a number of games that you don't have just one. Like today, we're going to be talking to Canasa and Pinochle. 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 Yeah. Don't have me write that out. Yeah, no, me either. Okay. <laughs> all right, and I heard some of these gentlemen have been here for quite a while, right? They have. They okay. have. We have George over here who's been here. He just told me 28 years. 28 years. 28 years. George. Yeah. So what, what got you started over here? I found this place right away. Right away. I love playing cards. You love Pinochle po poker. Do you have a favorite of the of the two? Well, I like poker. I can win more there. <laughs> <laughs> We're over at another card table here. But what else goes on in this room also besides um, cards? Well, when we are not here, this room is rented out. 
to to you know for parties and things like that. Um, but we have sometimes the bag people play in here. It's it's the rooms are kind of interchangeable, Burke. So a lot of stuff happens in the in the other rooms. Um, sometimes our Casper program comes in here if they need it, and then the ladies and the gentlemen are gracious enough to go in the other room or vice versa. Okay. So um, mostly we have our card groups in here though. Okay, mm -hmm. and and these people are playing uh, canasta. You canasta, said right. Yeah. Okay, I got it right this time. And what brought you to the center? Uh, I was lonely. I had nothing to do. You had nothing to do. So I came let me, here. Let me turn you around a little bit more so we can see your face on on the on the show here. Okay, there you go. That's fine. Okay. Um, and and you were lonely, and you and how did you find out about it? How oh, that I don't remember. You don't remember. I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> but you so look like you're having lots of fun. Oh yeah, I do, and I go for canes uh, for bingo. Bingo. That's what I hear. We're, we'll talk about that in a minute. But I hear bingo's really big over here, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Every uh, Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. It's a big dog. Do you have a lot of friends that come to bingo? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, we gather around. I go different places every day. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good. And, and and why she mentioned bingo. Bingo is one of your bigger activities, right? It is. It is. You mm -hmm. get a lot of people in here. We do. Them. We do. And um, so people can come over here. It's a walk-in situation. Yes. And uh, they can participate. Mm -hmm. There's also in the Park District book, it'll show them the different uh, trips. and day to day. And then the trips. Mm -hmm. Right. And the trips, you need to sign up a little bit early because sometimes they, they book up, right? Yes, they do. They sell out pretty quick. So on the day of registration, I suggest everybody comes in on that morning at 7 o'clock and registers. Okay. Well, we have a gem of a senior center director here in Lisa. Um, if I had a way to nominate the employee of the year, I'd surely put you on top of my list. Thank you. That's very and sweet. Uh, I want to thank you for showing us the new center. This looks nice and spacious. All the, we have troubles with the cameras in here because of all the, the windows. It's very bright in <laughs> yes, here. Yes, we love that it's nice and bright. This room was so dark before, and it's just so bright now. And everybody, it just everybody loves coming. You, you know, know I, I, and I think it's important to have windows because it cheers people up. It Even does. today's not the most sunny day, <laughs> but it's still bright and cheery in this exactly, room. Exactly, exactly. Okay, well, I'm Burke McDonald with Schomburg Heartbeat. We hope you enjoyed this segment. We hope that you're able to come over here. Come on and visit Lisa. She'll be more than happy to acclimate you to the place. I'm Burke McDonald with Schomburg Heartbait. And don't forget, take time for fun.